All right, hey guys, this is Paul with the Rex Garage. So today I'm doing a little bit of work on my um, Burrell shifter cart. So the the steering bearing, they keep, they keep breaking. I don't, really don't know why. Um, basically this is what the new one looks like. I ordered two last time because this is now the third time I'm replacing it. So the fourth bearing I've been through in about a year and this is the original one. Basically the, the metal chases are just coming out and it's falling apart. So obviously tons of play and rattling. They're just really junk parts. So if anyone knows where I can get a good quality one of these, I would really like to hear it. So it's, it's a 22 mil on the outside. And this one is, um, it's eight millimeters on the inside. However, I have this titanium shaft, which I bought for my Tony car because I bent the other one and this doesn't fit and this has a 10 millimeter shaft so if we have a bearing it would be awesome if I could get one that's 10 millimeters on the inside but the same 22 on the outside because this one doesn't fit and I'd really like to use this one because it's it's lighter it's stronger I think it's about half a pound lighter if I'm bending Considering I'm about 25 pounds over minimum weight, I need to lose as much weight as I can. So anyway, for now I'm going to put the uh, this part in, which is the same as the one I had before. So I can't imagine it's going to last more than three months of, of racing. Um, but yeah, really looking to get a better quality one of these. So the part, it just lives in here. And basically we've got this little clip that holds it in place. And then the bearing goes through here. And then it gets secured on with a nut at the bottom. So I believe it originally had a, a rubber bushing on there, but I think it's snapped. So I'm going to put another O-ring on, um, let it hold in place. <coughs> As with everything on the car, anytime you take something apart, take the opportunity to give it a clean because you can't really get in there very well normally. goes in place, holds it in. And then the washer goes on the bottom. So the play's gone down here. This was um, like obviously so sloppy with the broken piece. Uh, and then you have these two little collars that basically hold the steering in place. So as you're driving and you're putting a lot of force on this, these keep the steering shaft where it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna make sure these are snug so that that takes off the pressure on this. Cause if they're not tight enough, it's gonna allow that to bounce up and down as I'm driving, which I think might be part of my problem. So I'm going to get those nice and tight and hopefully that'll help keep everything in check. Uh, these are just three mil collars on mine. So push it all the way up.
and I'm going to loosen the top one and put that back in place too. That felt pretty good, but I say it's worth checking. There we go, so everything feels nice and tight now. I'm gonna have to order some more of those. But let's say if someone knows a better dealer, I ordered these from Mondo Car and they just don't seem to be good quality. But I, I think I'm gonna call that good for now. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.